the Palace Museum. The Forbidden City in the old days, now the Palace is a museum. This imperial palace was once forbidden. Today, it is open to the public. On October 10, 1925, the Palace Museum was formally opened to the public. When you walk into the Palace Museum, you are already facing the greatest objects of the collection, the Palace Buildings. Walking along the central axis, one feels that the harmonious proportions of the architecture are like the movements of a symphony. Symmetrical buildings, red walls, and yellow tiles, they all denote the brilliance of Chinese culture. The perfect union of traditional Chinese building techniques and arts implicate traditional culture and philosophy. The art collections that belong to the imperial family are now displayed for the appreciation of visitors from all over the world. Having a history of over 80 years, the heart of the Palace Museum is the art collection. The museum continues to acquire objects to enrich the collections. Installed in the palace buildings are historical rooms as well as halls dedicated to permanent and thematic exhibitions. From over 1.5 million treasures, including painting and calligraphy, bronze vessels, decorative arts and ancient books will be shown to visitors in rotation. In the new century, the Palace Museum is taking on a new dynamic. The largest renovation of the past century is recreating the elegance of the Golden Age.
with various cutting-edge technologies, the old museum is joining modern trends. Digital technology is making it possible for people all over the world to enjoy the excellence of this culture. The Palace Museum has opened its dusty windows and doors. Join us in appreciating Chinese culture. Let us look at the splendid colors. Listen to the sounds of the Forbidden City. Breathe in the atmosphere of history. Appreciate the details of Chinese culture. Forbidden City is a museum.